It is a um, girl on girl lesbian date. This episode is a slightly unusual episode, the fact that you think it's going to start one way when you see a beautiful, stunning, gorgeous girl walking into a bar who's obviously looking for someone, and rather than her ultimately looking for a guy, you find out that she is looking for a girl, so she's on a, a blind date with another girl. Despite it being a date with two girls, I think at the core of it, I wanted to write an episode that talked about conviction and courage um, in finding love. She's quite a conflicted character. She's kept her sexuality a secret from her family, um, partly because she knows it's something that they wouldn't accept. Um, and actually, she, she can't really admit to herself. Erica's character in particular is someone who, in my mind, lives two lives. You know, there's her romantic life and then there's her family life. And she loves both very much. And Sometimes, you know, both sides don't really work together. And I think it's sort of finding that balance. Um, and at least that's what I tried to, to do in, in my episode. She's a confident slash not confident character. So she's one minute, she's, you know, she's life of the party, she's easygoing, happy go lucky. The next minute you see that underneath it all, she's very fragile and, yeah, very conflicted. Kate um, is someone who is open to love. She's looking, she's looking for someone special. She's looking for a relationship, but she's been she's been burned before. So, in my mind, pairing up a character who's open towards love and slightly uh, less willing to trust someone, open yet not open, um, paired with a character who is um, open yet not open about her sexuality should make for an interesting date. <laughs> At this point in the episode, um, these two very fine gentlemen that I'm sure you're going to see in a moment have sent over a bottle of wine to us while we're on our date, which has interrupted the date and has slightly pissed me off. And um, the lovely Erica has entreated me to be more gracious to the boys and in my own special way, Kate has decided to go up and show exactly how gracious she can be. So you're going to see some very nice dirty dancing in a bit. And I can't dance, so... I'm hoping that you want to die. So my role here has been the lovely job of working with Gemma and with Kate especially, and with the two lovely gentlemen also, just to make sure that the, the narrative of what's happening in this fantastic script is coming through in the, the dance floor moment. The script was what attracted me to this show. I mean, it's, it's a two-hander, so for an actor, it's both scary and, and extremely amazing to do something that is all about you and another person, and, and it's all about the words and, and acting. There's, there's nothing else going on except for these two characters, and um, it, it's, a, it's a real challenge to get it right. Yeah, we're shooting uh, three days per episode, and so roughly ten pages a day. It's ambitious and it's challenging, and um, normally we shoot between three to five minutes a day on a standard drama, and. Um, this is ambitious. We've mostly been filming in chronological order, so uh, with the exception of a few bits, it's been we've been able to kind of follow through so the energy of the, of the day has you know, progressed from one bit to the next. There's always that weird moment when there's, there's two of you and, and you're playing a love interest and, and you see your love interest and you realise that even on your best day she's ten times better looking than you. It's been so great to have somebody like Gemma to do it with because she's so intelligent and, and so committed and works so hard that it makes you a better actor when you work with somebody else like that. And, and then at the end of the day, I mean, you have to pretend that you're massively attracted to another person when they look like Gemma, it doesn't kind of make it easier. It's slightly a different tone than the other episodes. It's, you know, there's more drama, there's arguing, there's, uh, there's dancing. Pretty much touches upon um, everything that you would want in a date. It addresses like a cultural impact on one's um, openness to finding love. It's like a half an hour adventure for the audience because you're following in more or less real time what those two characters are experiencing on this date. <laughs>